Hey, what is up, guys? True Power Shad here, bringing you a brand new series in the Zoom 11 Go Shine walkthrough. That is right. Now, um, <laughs> why you may ask why I'm doing a Go Shine walkthrough? Well, let's have a quick talk about it. And before that intro starts, I'm just gonna press A real quickly so it doesn't do that again. So, um, let's okay. Anyway, so why am I um? Oop, I have to do my name now. Anyway, why am I doing a Go Shine walkthrough? Now, the reason why I'm doing a Shine walkthrough is that. Well, um, it does sort of make sense that, um, one, I've done Chrome Stone 2 I'm, and I'm planning to do Galaxy, so it does make sense if I do a Shine walkthrough, even though I've already done a, um, Dark walkthrough on True Power Shad. The other two reasons why is that this is, um, I was planning to do a different series with Pyro Paradox when I thought, why not do something you guys want and that goes into my other reason is that you guys have been asking for a Shine walkthrough in HD for a really long time, so, um, I am using a 3ds capture card to record this and this is going to be a really fun walkthrough for me as it's going to bring up a lot of nostalgia because I actually have not played through this game for nearly two years now so um, this is going to be really fun to play through this game once again and uh, yeah without further ado let's get this walkthrough started so um, this uh, game takes place 10 years after the Football Frontier International That was an ex- Oh wow, I was more talking. Alrighty, so um, basically, this game takes ten pla um, um, takes place ten years after the Football Frontier International, where a team called Inazuma Japan won it for Japan, and um, ever since then, laws of soccer have changed, and now it's become a sport that has been rigged before the game even starts, thanks to these uh new thing called the Holy Road, not the Holy Road, called as the Fifth Sector, and as we see there, um, um, so yeah, because of, uh, this group called Fifth Sector, that don't, they've changed it, and, uh, their new leader, Ishida Shuji, which is the guy we saw just now, uh, the guy in the red shirt and stuff, is uh, the one taking over now? Before you guys leave comments, I know everything about this game. Don't say anything that I don't know know what I'm talking about and who people really are. I know everything about this game, and please don't spoil it for people who this is their first time seeing this game. And um, and basically, this is the Raymond Club where Inazuma Japan originated from. 
And I just really badly want to talk, but these guys are interrupting me. And now. And now the first chapter starts, so, um. Another cutscene. Typical. Oh my god, so much talking, alrighty, um, alright, so now it's just telling you how to play uh, the game, that uh, you can move and what everything does, um, I'm not really going to go into that, because it's not too important, I feel, well, that's how I feel, and now the screen's black, and now our first thing, uh, likely for us on the bottom screen, uh, it has a purple arrow telling us where to go, I'll just let you know that purple arrow is your best friend in any Inazuma 11 game, because if... If that purple arrow is not there, you'll pretty much not be able to play this game, if unless you're Japanese. And, um, so now more talking, that's fantastic. Um, I guess I won't, I'll just not talk and provide commentary in this game, and I'm going to skip over these text logs, because I, I just know, I don't understand, I want to play the game. Alrighty, and, um, so, so this is the main character, which I presume everyone knows, is Matsukaze Tema. He's practically the main character for all the Go series. And, um, now there are these people challenging us to a little bit of soccer practice, I guess. Even though, um, okay, we got the shoes, I guess. I know. I remember this, um, just teaching you. Pretty much this, f this first episode is going to be me playing through the practically the tutorial of the game. Which is very frustrating. So, what I have to do here. Oh, I remember this heads up display. It's so much better. Personally, than the uh, than the Chrome Stone one, and there are so many things I like about this game, but there are so many things that Chrome Stone just wrecks this game for. The heads-up display, oh um, man, this is so so cool. I remember it; it's so cool. Alrighty, <laughs> alrighty. Now that we put our shoes on, we can battle them. And uh, if you didn't have the shoes on, you would not be allowed to do it. This little fight. So anyway, now let's go through how to play, how to uh, move your players with the. Uh, DS pen and how to make passes by touching the screen and how to shoot the ball by touching the screen some more. It's generally how um, this game goes. You just generally just use the bottom screen or like, guide you to victory. Alrighty, so what we're gonna do? We're gonna do our um, plays and now we're gonna take a really long shot here. Oh wow, this is cool. Alrighty, here's Tim with the scissor and that was a. Uh, did you even see the ball there? I, I did not see the ball go into the goal there. That was just wow. Tim, are you pro? Anyway, a thing I do prefer about Chroma Stone is that when you have the ball, it has that um little scene how the two players uh, are in there. They like look like this instead of like just blue black uh, blue background. It's much cooler. If you guys watch my Chroma Stone videos, you'll know what I'm talking about. But anyway, Tim just just destroyed them. Tim was just MVP. Anyway, and uh, it's also teaching us that if you have food items, it can you can restore your GP, which is your stamina, and your TP, which is your technique points, and that is to use your Hizatawaza. Anyway, more more blue notes thingy. Alrighty, and uh, also there's this thing here where if you just talk to it and pay a bit sum of cash, you just instantly heal up. And I think we can go this way. No, we cannot. That's a, I think that's a Chroma Stone thing only. Oh, that's right. You can't actually go in the train station. Unless you're playing Chrome Stone. Alrighty, now finally more cutscenes, which we've pretty much been doing the whole time. 
Oh no, not yet. Now cutscenes. Alrighty, ooh, that's alright, they've got the bottom screen, the story progression thing, I don't really like that, I prefer how it's in a Chrome Stone, how it's just a menu option and you don't actually have to look at it unless you want to. Alrighty, this is actually so cool, I actually have not seen the original Go anime and played this game for such a long time, anyway, so according to this uh, thing, oh, it's telling us to go here, and we're here, that's pretty cool, and it also um showed us one of the other characters in this game, which we... We all know and love, I'm not going to say his name because he hasn't really debuted yet. And uh, this is uh, this is one of the uh, managers of Raymon, and her name is uh, Otoshi Haruna, I think. I don't know, I'm horrible, but she's just one of the managers. She's actually, um, she was originally one of the managers for uh, Inazuma 11 uh, in the original series before Go was even real. But Go is still amazing. Alrighty, time to save the game now. Alrighty, like um, she told us to, time to put a save in my shine. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, for those of you guys who don't know, actually, um, ages ago I lost my save for shine, which sucked. But you know, first world problems. I would have loved to show you guys my shine team, but um, doesn't really matter. And um, that's the coach right there. Uh, Kuro Kantoko. Uh, coach. Uh. Oops. Why are there so many cutscenes right at the start of this game? Um, it's. I'll actually say it's a bit overwhelming. <laughs> it's a lot of cutscenes. I haven't. Oh, uh, in like. I don't actually know there were this many cutscenes at the start of Chrome Stone. I probably don't remember them. Probably be a ton of cutscenes as well at the start of Galaxy. I mean, that was Coach uh, Kudo. He was actually the. Uh, no, is it Kudo? I don't know. I think. Uh, damn it. I'm just zoned out now, and uh, give me one sec, guys. Alrighty, sorry about that, guys. Now, let's continue on right through these front doors, and uh, of course... <laughs> Timo is just shocked about the size of the soccer club building. Seems though it's not the uh, old small one anymore, it's massive, it's ginormous, and uh, this is the inside. And Timo is all like, oh my god, this is amazing. Because practically, Timo's dream is to join the Raymond Soccer Club, as that's... Uh, his passion for soccer sort of originated here, which will be. Oh, whoa. Anyway, which will go into more depth into the. Uh, later on in the story. And it's actually. They've got two teams. This is the second. Uh, the room for the second team. And this is the room for the first team. Just a showcase of everything here. But, um. Oh. Cord going straight. Like it always does. There we go. Very nice. And, um. Yeah, one thing I do complain about this game is uh that it can its frame rates go down a lot, and I do mean a lot. Righty, um, now something's happening, so uh, let's go see, check that out, and now it's all like quiet and depressing and stiff. Which you know it's all right, and now the music's back, so it's all good. Righty, we're gonna go this way, and up we go around the side, of course. Oh, need to go down the stairs, and there we go. Nice. And what has happened, we will find out immediately. So basically, that mysterious player from before is completely wrecking all the the uh, second team of the uh, Raymond Raymond Junior High Soccer Club. So um, yeah, his name is a uh, Surugi, as we should all know. And oh my God, he's just wrecking them completely. <laughs> and that was his. Ooh, 
Mach grad Zehns. And, uh, and uh, now he's just showing off as he has like perfect accuracy. Hmm. And now Timmer is stepping up to the plate. He's a bit upset that uh, Sergei's abusing soccer, and now um, Tim's gonna adjust his feel. Ooh. And I take that back, Tim is just gonna get wrecked by Sergei as well. And uh, now it's these two guys we saw it before, they're like the managers of the school. Sergei's actually um, joining the Raven Soccer Club. I think that's what they're telling them. And uh, now Tim, I think this is where Tim steps up to the plate, and uh, Takes over for Sergi, I think. No, not takes over for Sergi fast Sergi, but just in case something happens, I will save my game if I could hit the right button. Oh my god. Here we go. And bam, the game is saved already. Will Tim be able to beat Sergi? Let's find out. As it is Tim versus Sergi. Mini soccer battle. And Sergi's theme is playing one of the better themes of this game. And uh, Sergi is just a show off practically in this whole episode. And yeah, okay. So it's teaching us all the commands of the game, how you can tap a player to instantly go for the ball, and uh, how you can like slide tackle and stuff. And oh, Surugi just completely wrecked him off, and Timmer cannot keep up. That is a uh, quite a shame. In one sec. Sorry about that, guys. So um, Timmer. Surugi's just being extremely cocky in this, and I find it hilarious. And, uh, I don't like that Tim is getting hurt, I guess, and now... Now we're gonna try and steal the ball again, and it's probably not gonna work again. As Surugi's just really cocky, and, um, likes to injure Tim off. And this is just a repeated progress, um, process until, uh, I guess, Tim can stop Surugi. And oh my god, one sec guys. Ah, <sighs> it won't scat. Sorry about that guys. Now where were we? And now um, um the other people from the other the Raymond Sub Club are just like, oh why isn't he giving up yet? But Tema is persistent. He is very persistent and he refuses to give up. And now Surugi is using the very first Hizata, which is the special moves and stuff of the game. And Tema, what will Tema do? Tema is all gonna just go beast mode here. So, um, so basically, though, that's why Tim is addicted to the Raymond Soccer Club, because a member from there that he's not sure who it was, it's his dream to track down that member who saved his life many years ago, and uh, now, that's why he's so passionate about soccer, so now, he's gonna use the new feature of this game, and Surugi's surprised, as Tim takes that ball like a champion and just stops the Hizata with nothing but pure strength alone and Surugi's are like the hell <laughs> that's, that's the only reaction Surugi can have it's like what and um and now more awesomeness happens a new character debuts which is the uh another main character Raymond 
So, um, this is the Rayman 11 that, uh, Sergei was wanting to fight. So as we can see, Surugi is really um, high and mighty, just destroying the uh, Raymond grounds, I guess, and just pretty much intimidating the uh, Raymond team, and now they're actually going to have a match, Surugi going to call his team, and now they are going to have a match, and we are going to take part of that match, so, um, yeah, it sounds like fun, let's go join them, Timur, so, um, yeah, that was actually pretty cool. I actually completely forgot most of these cutscenes happened. This is just nostalgia for me. So this is this is awesome. Best idea I ever had instead of starting another Chrome Stone series. And like I said, none of you guys have wanted this, so oh, this is going to be fantastic. And it was awesome that uh, we got to see that cutscene with uh, that mysterious character that no one totally knows. We know. Uh, saved uh, Timur much better, much cooler than what it was in the anime, and uh, these are the managers as well as the players of the Raymond, uh, the Raymond, the uh, thingo club. So um, basically, what it is is these yellow bu speech bubbles, meaning that you have to uh, talk to them, and the orange ones just to proceed with the story, which is what we're gonna do because I am a mean person and don't care about most of these people's opinions. Is that right? Or but anyway, this is the main Raymond team, and. Uh, this is Surugi's team and his coach and that is possible thumbnail right there but meh and uh, this is the Raymond 11 there and then we've got Timur and friends and um, yeah this is gonna be pretty interesting seeing this match what I will do for before and foremost I'm saving my game because uh, you, you can't justify what may happen in this game Just, you can't alright yeah I think we touched to talk to you and the match starts and I am correct, it does start. And uh, here we go, cool little animation. How they're all working together, the Raymond 11. And Tim is like, yay! And this guy shoots. And the, the goalie stops it pretty damn easily. And now they throw a ball right towards Surugi. And they just long and high passes, bring the ball up. And now Orange Head, the mullet guy, has the ball. And now it's Son Goku, the Raymond goalkeeper. And now it's the uh, Surugi's team chance to shoot. And oh wow, that was a really quick go. That was it's pretty interesting. And now Surugi is just as per usual, high and mighty. And now the Raymond Eleven are still getting completely creamed. And um, but they are just uh, pretty much weakened by Surugi's plays. Pretty much they are. Uh, they are uh, getting completely wrecked, and now, uh, and now the coach is saying that Timur gets to play. And yeah, and th this is the guy who failed the shot before. And he's like, mm. and now Surugi's slightly interested as Timur. This is actually Timur's first soccer match, so um, yeah. And we're level two. We're, we shouldn't be able to win this as we're double their level, but um, the scoreboard will disagree. Anyway, ooh, this is the first time I've seen this uh, scoreboard for a while. This scoreboard, though, this uh, player setup, this is a first time for a while. Trevorstone looks way better, I'll say. And this is their team. Cool thing about Surugi, he gets to wear a different uniform while uh, playing for these guys. But you know what? We will not take him lightly in the slightest. Okay, and now they're winning 10 0 and Suki has scored most of their points. And how we prevail. The top screen doesn't look as good as in Grimstone as well. And Temo is all like excited for his first match with soccer. So, uh, how will this go? And now it's uh, teaching us about how to trigger cutscenes and stuff. And the uh, time will not progress until we do those things. Alrighty, off you go, Temo. Go to the circle thing. Uh, no, go to my run. Run to this little thing. Oh, this is not good. Oh no, Tim is a beast. That's right. Yeah, Tim is amazing. Apparently. 
And these guys are so slow, I must say. And now Suruki gets the ball, and Temo just gets wrecked. Hmm. Alrighty, and Suruki has a long shot, that's nice. And he scores. Huh. And now Tim is freaking out and talking to Shinto, who is this guy here, who is the captain. And, um. Yeah, pretty much the team is panicking, and Surugi has scored a point when there has not even been a minute into the half. That is quite impressive, and now we have to bring the ball over that line. Huh, this is gonna be fun. Alrighty, here we go. Back passes. Let's make some crazy plays here. I take it back. I take everything back, and oh no, oh, this is not good. We've got double win defenders here. How will it not? Okay. Um, will Shindo be able to stop Surugi? That is an excellent question, actually. And the answer is still no. Mm. Alrighty, this is going to be intense. As they just owned us. Oh my god. No, no one can stop Surugi. This is not good. And okay. Oh, I nearly left the door wide open there. Alrighty. And we finally still the ball. Amazing. Alrighty. Um, let's bring up the ball now. It's the best we can do. There we go, some solid plays. Now we're going to make a long pass to Timmer. And we get it past that line, that's great. Only to immediately lose the ball, how fantastic. And only to immediately get wrecked as well. Oh, this game just loves to put you down, doesn't it? <laughs> okay, and now Timmer's just like, don't give up. And Timmer intercepts the ball like a champion. And they were like, what? The newbie's doing like professional plays, what is this? And there goes Temo, just all proud. And, uh, yeah, let's see what happens here. Um, I'm pretty sure in this certain event, Temo just gets, like, beast mode this and just owns everyone. Yeah, that's how it goes. Anyway, uh, Temo is pretty much a professional, uh, professional midfielder. He's got a really high dribble. Well, he's got a really good dribble in this game, apparently. So that's how he can cut past everyone, but he does not know what to do from there, pretty much. His pass works horrible. The only thing he's really good at is his midfield and his dribble game, so, um, which is technically the same thing. Um, well, actually, no, it's just dribbling, I guess. And, um, yeah, he can just dribble past the whole team, pretty much. And he's doing a good job at it. It's good to see Tim up. Do good. And, um, they were like, whatever, and, uh, yeah, okay. I think this is the last one, hopefully. And, okay, and keep on running. And, boom. Okay, what happens here? Okay, so now the coach has ordered to destroy him, pretty much. So, this is gonna be fun. Yeah. So, um, pretty much what happened was Surugi fired a Keshin shot. <laughs> And the whole team is surprised that Timmer stood up after a Keshin shot. So Surugi's gonna shoot another one at him, which is uh, not too nice, really. And, um, yeah, that's twice in a row Timmer has been smashed by a powerful shot.
don't see now we get a kitchen too that's fantastic so um, here we go no, uh, everyone's surprised that Shinto just pulled out his kitchen. But um, he doesn't have full control over his kitchen at the moment, which is uh, pretty interesting. So um, here we go. This is his kitchen. Of course, on my stroke. I'll tell you some of them in this game. Don't like the heads up display for that. But um, this is going to be an intense battle of titans here. Here we go. Shinto with his kitchen. Surugi with his kitchen. And then the coach just says for them to stop. Because they forfeit, yay, I don't know. Um Well, Shinto doesn't have control of his Kishin and it completely depleted him of energy. And uh, everyone's surprised that he was able to summon it because normally only people trained by fifth sector can use Kishin and Shinto is like a first of his kind. And um Yeah, that practically summarizes that. That's all you can say. And now this is like the next day as Timmer and AOA are walking wherever they're walking to. And yeah. And now there's a new guy following them. His uh, name is Shisuke. And um, yeah, he also wants to join the Raymond Soccer Club. And um, yeah, that's, I don't know. I don't have much more to say. Um, but. I think that'll be all for today's episode, guys. I will try to upload these frequently to some extent. I want to get this walkthrough done before Galaxy comes out. That is a goal that I will achieve. But anyway, guys, um, thank you guys so much for watching. This is True Parashad. Signing out. Peace.